So Jake and Holly, you're up next. Hi everyone, I'm Jake from the Wild Labs team um, and I'm here with Holly, our conservation tech intern, to talk to you more about the beta for the inventory, which is our project to build a dynamic, collaborative, wiki-inspired database of conservation technology. Um, so I'm going to quickly run through what you can do on the inventory, what we've done so far, and how you can contribute at this early stage if you're interested. So let me just go to the next slide. So this entire project stems from a need voiced by the community to have a centralized place where it's more easy to find out what different conservation tech is available and how others are using it around the world. So the inventory is essentially a giant database of conservation tech, uh, which is split into three categories. Products, which includes hardware, software, and data, and R&D projects, which are mainly developing products, and organizations, which produce products or that people on Wild Labs are members of. Uh, and each of these sections has various ways that you can find ways to, to search and filter and different, different visual ways that you can find different tech that you're interested in looking at. So just like Wikipedia, the entire purpose of this site is to be community edited and community contributed. So just like a wiki, Wild Labs members can add new content to the site, whether it be a product, an R&D or organization. Uh, and any existing page can also be edited. So you can edit all the different sections of a page if you see something is incorrect, or if you want to add more content to the page, such as images, or as we'll get to reviews, then any Wild Labs member can do that. So as I mentioned, Wild Labs members can leave informative reviews on products. So we found, especially in Holly's work as the conservation tech intern, we found that a lot of useful information about how applicable different products are to your specific project needs are often come through word of mouth or they're buried in various publications across the internet. So we're trying to capture that information in the form of reviews and case studies so that it's more easily accessible to people in our community and hopefully so they can compare different products. Um, and now I'm going to quickly hand over to Holly, who is going to go over the work that she's been doing over the past three months related specifically to biologgers on the inventory. Holly? Hi everyone, it's nice to be speaking at my first uh, variety hour. Uh, so yeah, I've just been uh, lo looking through and filling out uh, the biologging section of the inventory. Uh, my first stage of that was that I did a survey of anyone within the movement ecology space to get an understanding of what specific products they were using or what organizations they must they usually used. Uh, thank you to everyone who filled out my survey. Uh, that was very helpful. We got a lot of good information about like what companies are selling specific products or what pro products will be used for specific projects. And now we've been reaching out to people and all of that information has been now placed upon the inventory. So that information was captured. And then we've been reaching out to people to try and get reviews of the specific um, products that they've each used to try and capture that sort of how well something works. Um, and I've also been uh, doing some research to see how people are currently finding their tech that they can uh, so see how the inventory might help with the process of like finding different biology tech. So that's thank you to anyone who's answered any of my questions, uh, especially I can see Samantha and Laura's in the chat have been very helpful with dealing with all my emails. So that's me. Over to you, Jake. Yeah, thanks, Holly, for all your work over the past few months uh, during the internship. Uh, and building on your work, we are starting to reach out to tech manufacturers and developers uh, for their help in populating their products on the inventory, because we want to make sure that the information about products are obviously what manufacturers are happy with being on the inventory and also getting some nice images from manufacturers that they want to feature of their products. And although we've designed the whole platform to be a collaborative wiki style shared space, Based on the feedback from our developer community, we've built in some special privileges if you're a tech or R&D project owner. So what you can do is you can either click the claim button on a product page, or you can just email us if you want to be added your Wild Labs account as the contact for lots of different products from your company. Um, and you'll get some features such as you can create what Wild Labs posts appear at the top of the page. You can see the edit history and revert changes. So if something's been changed that's been incorrect, you can just change it back to what it was. 
uh, and you can respond to people's reviews and you can get lots of notifications about if something's been edited. So you can keep an eye on your pages. Um, and just to shout out that our next stage moving forward, once we're reaching out to manufacturers, is when you click on a review, there are little positive and negative traits for each product. Uh, and it turns out it's a lot more difficult than you would think to come up with a list of positive and negative traits for each tech type. So if anyone's interested in spending 10 minutes, if you're a camera trap expert, just telling me what you think the positive and negative traits are, that would be super helpful. Um, but I will obviously be reaching out to people I know in the community as well. So thank you for listening. There is a QR code here if you would like to sign up to the beta. Thank you to everyone who has been signed up to the beta so far. We've got a long list that we're working through, just reaching out to different people with details on how to access the beta um, and to get you on board now that everything is ready for people to look at. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you, um, Holly and Jake. That was, that was a great run through the inventory. Before I let you go, what is the most... Why, why are you excited about this finally launching to the community? I think it's been such a long road of of getting the the platform usable for people uh, and thinking about it for so long that yeah. it's it's just quite exciting to to get some actual content like I was mentioning images and actual content on the pages because I've spent a lot of time on the site um, on on the sort of the testing site with content that makes no sense because we don't have enough of the really interesting reviews from people or case studies yet um, so it's finally to get my our teeth into actually useful content that people are going to find useful to look at. Who, well. who does the, the award for very first review go to? Oh, I'd have to check that. Um, Nigel Holly, Butcher. Remember? Nigel, Nigel Butcher, Butcher. the RSPB. He did, the first, he did our first review, so very grateful for him. Um, we're so excited uh, and hope this is going to be a really useful addition to what World Labs, uh, what our current platform already provides, and just finding, uh, hopefully giving another way to surface um, advice and really useful information for other conservationists and academics and, and people in our world to share information and, and be able to access um, advice about what tech to use in, in, in their work. And we're hoping it's going to support a much broader user base than currently we have on Wild Labs as well, though we've got 8,000 members. I think there's so many people in conservation who are using technology who don't necessarily have um, access to the sort of support that you can get through the forum. So we're hoping a wiki style, Amazon style um, platform will be really, really useful. Um, and question, do we know if people can order a product here? That was actually part of our motivation for building this because it's so hard to figure out where you can actually buy different products. So one of our core, um, requi our core desired requirements was just a list on every product page where you can click through to where you can buy things. We don't want to be the place where you buy, like we don't want to be doing orders. We want to make sure you can find where you can buy um, different things from, whether it's from group gets for, for audio morph or directly from manufacturers. So that's part of the information we want the manufacturers and also all of the, the community to add to all of the inventory pages and keep updated as well. And we're really conscious that, and we've built this in such a way that, um, it can be, it's not really, really information heavy. It's really driven. Um, it's a platform that's based on, um, it, 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 we've tried to design it so that it can be kept updated by the community. Um, and yeah, and if the, Rob, great example, if the community can notify each other when products go on special sale, that's awesome. Um, yeah, so we're hoping. Hoping it'll be really useful. We'll be rolling it out more and more, but if you want early access, please get in touch and um, we'll, we'll get you on there.